Pisces, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And as you can see, today is I don't know if this is in the screen shot or not. Um, today is my birthday. I am 34 years young today. Woo! I'm super happy today. I feel I feel amazing today. I had an idea of the video that I was gonna do, but I changed my mind at the last minute. And I just want to tell you reasons why you should be happy also in spite of what's going on around you, in spite of everything that you see. Um, if we watch the news, <laughs> the news is really depressing. My recommendation to all people on this, in the world, stop watching the news. Um, Cause it's so depressing. Like. I think that if they're going to have an hour of bad news, they need to have an hour of good news. Or how about do like a half an hour of the news that's not so good and then do another half an hour of all great news about accomplishments that people are doing, how people are um, loving each other and taking care of the earth and doing positive things and being healthy and having positive thinking. But they're not going to do that. They're going to focus on um, all these people that got shot, such and such got robbed, um, putting mug shots up there of all different types of people I'm not going to just say black people but all types of people and it's just bad news bad news bad news and I'm just so sick of it that's why I don't watch TV but I said I wanted to talk about the reasons why you should be happy I guess I could first tell you why I'm happy and maybe that can kind of help you to see why you should be happy too um, I am the type of person looking at me today, I have a smile on my face, I'm, you know, joyful and energetic and et cetera, et cetera. I haven't always been this way. I used to be a very pessimistic person, a very depressed person. I was clinically depressed, having to take antidepressants. I've been to so many counselors, you wouldn't even believe it. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say it. I have had suicide attempts. I have ended up in a psych ward before with people that were really crazy. I thought I was crazy, but they were really crazy. And it was just, I was so, I was just lost. I was a lost person because I didn't know myself. I didn't know who I was. And now I know who I am. And who am I? That is the question. I'm not a person just taking up space. I'm not just uh just this this body i'm not this hair i'm not these eyes or these fingers i'm not any of these things i'm really the soul and spirit that is within this body is just a vehicle for the soul it's just a vehicle that's just like this car that i'm driving if i wasn't in this driver's seat this car wouldn't be moving and therefore if my soul and spirit was not in my body it, this would be a riding body it would just be a dead body basically um so once I started coming to the realization that I'm not just a body, I'm actually a soul and a spirit, and it just started to open up things for me. <clears throat> also knowing, you know, self-worth. I really, for, for many years, I just did not feel like I was worth a whole lot. Um, <laughs> and I often wonder, you know, why did I feel that way even as a child? I'm not really sure. I mean, it was different factors that played a role. Um, I mean, my father used to tell me he loved me all the time. So it seemed like that would have been enough, but it wasn't because I still felt like I wasn't good enough. Um, 
you know, I was always very extremely shy, never, never outgoing. I'm a lot out, more outgoing now, but in, in school, I was the type of kid that just never, I never wanted to be called on or anything. Um, just wanted to always hang in the background. It's really hot in here. I'm going to turn some air on. But moving forward, today, sitting here on my 34th birthday, I've been through so much in my life. Oh my God, I've been through, so, I've had so many losses, so many breakups, so many heartaches. But today on my 34th birthday, I'm sitting here with a smile on my face. I feel totally free. I have totally detached myself from all of this stuff all of this this material plastic world i've totally i have unplugged myself i feel free i understand now and you have to understand this as well if you're trying to be free you're saying how can i be free uh, you know my mom and my dad treat me like crap the kids at school pick on me or my spouse doesn't treat me right and everything around me is just negative and i got these bills i gotta pay and i don't have enough money Let me, the, the answer is you have a choice. You have a choice. You can either choose to be sad and depressed or you can choose to be happy and have peace and have joy. But how do you get there? That's a really good question. For me, I had to pretty much hit like rock bottom. Like my face just had to hit concrete, not literally, but that's how it felt. And when you're so low, you can only do, you can only look up. You can only go up from there. And that's what I chose to do. I was like, you know, it's got to be some more to life than this. And I said, God, I'm ready. Show me something else different. And bam, when I was really ready and really tired of being tired and tired of being depressed, my whole world started opening up. It's a gradual progression. But you have the power. You have to know that you have the power. And a lot of times we don't even realize that we're powerful. We think we're weak because the world makes us feel like we're weak and people make us feel like we're weak and tell us that we're weak, but we're not weak. We are so, so powerful. You are love. God is in you. And because God is in you, God is love. That means you are love. You are a walking expression of God and love. So that means you have power. Human beings are so powerful, we just don't realize it. Now, everything starts in the mind. You have a thought, a thought will pop into your head. I can tell you, I can only tell you from my experience, a thought will pop into my head and say, you should have did that differently. Or the thought will say, you've made a lot of mistakes, you've done X, Y, and Z. And I'd be like, yeah, I did make a lot of mistakes in my life. I have done X, Y, and Z, I really did do those things. And at that point, that's when you're at a crossroads. You could say, hey, go that way. Yeah, I did those things. I screwed up. But it's okay. Because we all mess up. We all make mistakes. It help, helps us to grow. And you could say, I screwed up. But guess what? Oh, well, keep it moving. It's a choice. Or we can go that way. Yeah, I did mess up. Man, I'm a failure. Oh, my God. I'm a terrible person. I'm never gonna get it right. I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna have a better job. I'm never gonna make good grades. You speak those things out of your mouth and guess what, just like a boomerang, bam, you spit it out. I'm never gonna make it. Negativity comes right back to you. But when you spit out, hey, I made a mistake, but guess what, I'm good. I'm good, you spit that out, I'm good. Positivity comes back to you. The mouth is a sword, you have to remember that. You are in control over your thoughts. Don't allow your thoughts to control you. You control your thoughts. You be powerful. You be empowered. And I'm talking to those people that feel that they are less than. The people that are still struggling in their mind and in their heart trying to find out who they are. That's who I'm talking to because I've been there. It's a choice. I made a choice. I chose life over death. I chose peace over despair. I chose to be happy instead of being sad because we got to be here anyway, right? If you have to be here on this earth, you're not going nowhere. But if you're worried and you're sad and depressed, that is not adding any extra time to your life clock. You are wasting time. 
You are wasting your time being sad. Your time is valuable. Your life is valuable. Your life is meant to help people. Your life, number one, you got to learn how to love yourself. You have to look at yourself. I don't care if you got stretch marks or burn marks or you you, have, you got little boobs or a big humongous boobs or a, a big old cottage cheese booty or you don't have no booty at all and, and or you're missing a leg or whatever. I don't care. You have to know that you are the bomb. Don't wait around for other people to tell you you're the bomb. You got to know it for yourself. You got to know that you are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And even if you don't believe you better start telling yourself that you're amazing because time is ticking people we don't have a lot of time here okay i'm being serious tell yourself that you're amazing every day you wake up look in the mirror say i am beautiful i am amazing i am a winner i am prosperous i am gonna make it i am a creator of my own destiny and that's how you win so i'm gonna go ahead and let you go just be inspired be creative be loving you can live in this world all of this stuff going on but you don't have to be of this world you can be free in here and free in your heart and i hope that you will be free and that is my my wish for you on today on my v day i'm sending you love and i'm sending you peace and i'm sending you lots of blessings remember that the power is in your hands to be free bye bye